looking at where we are right now, the room says bravery, and that yeah. that's what it takes, you know, like to stand out in an industry, you gotta do what's not guaranteed or like it's it's not safe, you know, because everybody could do what's safe and sell, right? But like if you really want to stand out, you gotta like push and you know appreciate that, and especially like Mitolo, you know, Frank. Vicenzo like really pushing on my ideas and supporting it and and not just that but finding middle ground between brand and art and all that stuff. found this property about six years ago and it was just about perfect like you know the view and where it's located it's at the tasting room restaurant um, we've been on a journey for a couple of years with that we did fine dining I think we did it pretty well and then came the time sort of I wanted to do something more true to our culture and family yeah uh, with the food offer and perhaps the environment and the, and the mood we, we all come up with that sort of transition to Little Wolf a bit more playful talking to a different demographic but at all times maintain that premiumness it's just about being a bit more relaxed letting your hair down but you can't but no, I can't. <laughs> for those that weren't able to witness it um, do you want to walk us through the process I mean this is a sort of a three-part journey uh, well, first off, well, the planning's been taking a couple of months, so it's been a bit um, challenging because, uh, like, I was traveling, you know, a, like, a bunch. Um, but once the logistics are done, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just came on and fly to Australia, come here, first couple days, just paint the outside wall, which was, well, the containers outside, that says, uh, endless journey. So we got that done, and then the third part was the tasting room, uh, where we are right now and it's uh, pretty much a full experience of a tasting room and it's quite colorful I'm really happy with uh, how it came out when we saw his art there was something about it yeah uh, and something about the messages that uh, appealed to all of us so and myself big risk yeah took a bit of bravery plenty of bravery <laughs> What an amazing experience to meet a human being like that with such expression through his hands, his vision, his own experiences. You know, I'd like to think of where he comes from, this small place in Mexico somewhere, and he's now doing it hard in New York. He's doing his bit here and bit there, and he's in Adelaide, South Australia, you know, pushing it out for Little Wolf. His art is words. Absolutely you know, touching people's lives in different ways. Absolutely. And Frank does that through his products and hopefully I can do that through my food. Yeah, we met 13 years ago through his restaurant. We just became good friends, used to hang out in the kitchen with him. Him and myself really connect on what we want to do with the food. It's just like perfect union. We really understand what we want to do. He is super focused, super passionate about, you know, certain ingredients, certain things and the environment and uh, and how I guess terroir makes up everything, but he's still fun and he has a yeah. laugh, and I think that's what we're about. Like you know, it's just a very you know, the same sort of culture. We're not saying that we're going to do things basic. The wines are still going to evolve and still be serious. The food's going to be serious, but it's about having a bit of fun. That's what we're about. I'm really excited about what uh, Vincenzo can bring to uh, our wines and their restaurant. It's something that stemmed from a young kid, the passion for food and, you know, always being surrounded by it. My father was very hands-on and my mum's epic in the kitchen and uh, it's just our culture really, I suppose. You know, it's always been around the table. It's where everything was decided. Yeah. You know, it's where every decision was made. It's where we cried, it's where we laughed. Um, it's where I have my fondest memories and I've always been around the table or food's always been some sort of partial background to that, um, either hands-on or just 
you know, enjoying it with family and friends at a distance or whatever it may be. It's giving me a new focus into what I love to do. Yeah. And, you know, it's amazing to be a part of a team that appreciates that. It's been an endless journey, I suppose. Bravery, you know, and be yourself. Actually, I just talked to a cab driver in Mexico and he said, uh, we should be doing what we like so we never have to work in our life. So that's what I do. That's I'm just exactly kidding. what I do, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it takes a little while to understand that that's what you should be doing. But once you do it, yeah, it's, it's a living. It's a living. It's going to be an epic journey um, where everyone's really embracing it. When you're launching something new, it's a big push for the end, but everyone's really got the right frame of mind for it going forward. They're direct, they're concentrated, and they're having fun. Whatever your trade is or whatever your push is in life, embrace who you are as an individual, and I think that's the most important thing. And I think Matolo as a brand embraces that. Absolutely. As do you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. But give me a you're an absolute. Thank <laughs> you.